Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the characteristics of the compound motor. So we will continue the we will discuss some more points regarding the compound motor in this session. So here we have we have some note, you have to note down some note that is to obtain cumulative and differential same torque and at rated that means to maintain the cumulate we have the cumulative motor and differential motor both motors together and in order to get the same torque between those first thing the differential is with more shunt field turns you should make what happen uh, we have the differential motor is there you should make number of turns of the shunt field is more that means you should increase the shunt field means so we have the shunt you should increase the these type of more number of turns more number of turns series turns is no problem at all no problem at all and second thing cumulative is designed with the more series turns and now if it is a cumulative thing then this is okay but now you should increase the series turns shunt is okay for differential you should increase the you should increase the this part for cumulative you should increase the this part this part and this part then both the cumulative compound motor as well as differential compound motor both the motors are operated with the same torque so this is the condition this is the very very important thing once again if we have a some compound motor generally differential compound motor torque and cumulative compound motor torque is in a particular rated current it will be different but to maintain that cumulative compound motor should maintain more series field turns and differential compound will increase the more shunt field turns more shunt field turns okay right next next we will discuss speed versus torque characteristics speed versus torque characteristics a simple thing simply we can say that generally the speed versus torque characteristics cumulative motor is cumulative motor is same as that the decision motor decision motor so when you are increasing the torque almost same but why why it is same this is series field and shunt field series field and shunt field so that's why by increasing the by increasing the i i write in here not series this is the cumulative actually this is the cumulative remove it series means addition actually actually i wrote it as an addition but it means with different okay right so cumulative motors are very very common motors generally because they develop a good starting torque why it is very useful they are developing a good starting torque initial starting torque is high like series motor so same as the this this is this this character is this feature is same as the series motor and it has the another advantage it has the another advantage that is the third point is we can maintain the no load speed also we can maintain the no load speed because in the no load condition flux will be depends on the both shunt and the series at the no load condition series flux is zero we have some shunt flux by due to the shunt flux we can control the speed so that's why this is a very good feature we can control the no load speed the otherwise no load speed is limited 
that means it, it is not infinite it is in limited it is in our control okay so that's why these shootable for that's why these are very much shootable these are very much shootable and useful okay here we are discussing about the cumulative motor but just observe here the speed versus torque characteristics are simply like this it slightly decreases and maintains some constant this is the cumulative motor cumulative dc motor if the speed versus torque characteristics of differential motor is like this it will increases it will increases on the way this is about the differential compound motor so this is the speed versus torque characteristics okay yeah we will discuss some points about this cumulative motors are very common because they develop a good starting torque like series motor and its no load speed is limited like shunt motor same as the shunt motor therefore they better suitable for the intermittent loads like punch machine and sealing machine and rolling machine and shearing loads what is the meaning of shearing load shearing load means shearing means sudden change in load sudden change in load so cumulative dc motor has more more advantages is very good characteristics those are very very important those are it's behave like shunt motor and it has a good 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 starting torque like a series motor and no load speed also we can control it these are the very very good characteristics generally these are specific specifically available for shunt and series like that but all are singly available in a single machine that is the cumulative motor next here differential compound motors are very rare we are not using this motion very very low because load increases its speed increases just observe here just observe here here whenever the torque increases means torque is nothing but here the wear load increases but what happened speed speed will be increases for any case it is not possible it is not a advantage of the any any machine so that's why no application required for this type of characteristics okay generally whenever the torque increases or load increases torque increases or load increases speed should be decreases is the good character of the any machine but here the thing is the torque increases and load increases the speed will be increases speed increment is not good is a bad thing for the any machine so this only the dc motor which may zero speed regulation so that's why it has the zero speed regulation zero speed regulation how can we define the speed regulation so this is a very very important thing so that's why cumulative dc compound motor has more and more advantages and differential compound motors have less advantages okay right so we have one characteristics available here that is we will observe here if all dc series motors are designed its same rated speed same rated torque look at here this is the rated torque and at rated armature current so this is the rated armature current then the characteristics are as below characteristics are look like this so that will be that will be like this so generally whenever the torque increases then automatically we, then automatically it follows we can name it as the this is the shunt motor this is the first thing and and cumulative motor is similar to this so this is cumulative motor cumulative compound cumulative motor or cumulative compound motor and series motor generally increases in the manner so this character is for the series motor okay next 
this character is differential component reverse manner it will behave a reverse manner so we can name it as differential compound motor differential compound motor so these are the different different motor having operated with the rated torque and the rated armature current rated torque and the rated armature current okay if it is half rated half rated means the current will become half assume this is the point where current will be half of the rated current this will be like this so these are the different different characteristics for different different dc motors next if all dc motors are designed with the same rated speed and the same rated current then the characteristics are below if they are designed with the same speed generally designed with the same speed these are the characteristics so speed versus armature current generally at zero current peak value having the series motor we can name it as the it is a series motor and for cumulative motor this is for the cumulative motor because both almost same and cumulative and shunt are both are combined together this is for the shunt motor and this is for the differential motor how we can define the differential motor just observe here at no load we have some speed when the load is increases speed value increases only the motor the speed will be increases with increase in the speed that's why these are the different different characteristics okay next next topic is the speed regulation so you know when we are discussing about the transformer regulation is the very very important thing there is what a voltage regulation simply voltage regulation is v no load minus v full load by v full load into 100 just replace this voltage with the speed then it will become the speed regulation here the speed regulation equal no load speed minus full load speed by full load speed into 100 okay generally speed regulation of shunt motor no load having more value full load having low value it has some positive regulation what about series series motor initially no load at infinite speed and negative and some positive by some positive we have some infinite value what about cumulative cumulative almost both are same both are same it will be positive so the differential is we will get the negative because no load speed is low compared with the full load speed the negative voltage regulation is like this okay yeah the speed regulation of shunt motor generally some value that is 5% to 15% it has some particular value and cumulative is the more speed regulation that is 20 to 25% 20 to 25% here differential is negative value that is minus 5 to some 0 minus 5 to 0 that's why it is the only thing which have the negative voltage regulation okay so this is about the some important characteristics regarding the dc compound motor as well as different different motor characteristics and the speed regulation okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you